What is good, Cardano fam, Ada gang? Hope you guys are doing amazing. We have lots of exciting updates to unpack today. So hit that subscribe, hit that like. Dex trading volume surpasses 65 million Ada this week. The goal is uncapped peer-to-peer -peer L2s. Uncapped participants, heads, transactions per second, decentralization. Cardano is quite beautiful, guys. It has so much going for it. Tell me of another L1 that's handing over nearly $1 billion treasury to its community and burning of the Genesis keys. It's really, like I say, the jacked Bitcoin. Cardano, no VC chain, not centralized, scalable, no fake TPS, on-chain treasury, no restarts, no hacks, no downtime, no 200 terabyte ledger, and growing. Quite ridiculous. I love this post. This was a low-key gem I found. Sentiment has often given great analysis, especially with some stuff that's different than just price, kind of like social analytics and development activity. So here are crypto's top overall coins by notable development activity the past 30 days. Directional indicators represent each project's ranking rise or fall since last month. And yes, we see Cardano at the top above projects like Ethereum, Polkadot, Cosmos, Optimism, Chainlink even. Number three, up there with ICP, HBAR. Think of the projects, other projects, what you will, but it's great to see that Cardano, the development is very active. Most guys, people's complaints are just rooted in price. And we know, if you've been subscribed to the channel, that alt season is not here yet. We're on the cusp of it. So thank you from uh, Santiment, the shout out for uh, the development activity. And they have some more detail if you guys want to check out all the sources. Everything is always linked below. But nice. Number three, top for development activity. So bullish on the Cardano ecosystem the next 60 days. What a beautiful compilation of like some great projects, what they're doing, kind of what's coming up. Snack.fun will be a game changer. I check every day, eagerly waiting for Snack.fun to go live. That's, of course, the collaboration between Splash and and Snack to launch another pump.fun alternative. A uh, bunch of other projects that we have here, mainnet launch, staking launch, B2B with Dedium, so many amazing things, some multi-chain expansions, DAO launch by Splash. V2, of course, has been crushing it with MinSwap, V3 with Sunday Swap. Saturn, definitely heard a lot of feedback about insane speed with Saturn. USDM, we see the stable coin, and we'll comment more about that later. Liquidity is increasing. Uh, Lenny V3 launch with Icon upgrades. I looked a little bit into Icon. I see Charles talking about Icon, and that's another like platform for smart contract uh, development and easing the process inspired by other languages to make it easier. Whatever we can do to launch contracts easier, whatever we can do to diversify and go cross chain, I think are more than welcome. There are others I missed also, so feel free to post them below. But you know, the gist of it is there. Uh, really exciting time, guys, for CNTs. We have to remember that Cardano, like in this August 2021, we didn't even have smart contracts. It was just about to arrive. Uh, right on the cusp of Alonzo Hard, Hard Fork and Sunday Swap. So we have so much more of a vibrant ecosystem. So I'm really confident we're going to see that reflect in the price. Just a matter of time, but a nice compilation here. Any other projects you guys are excited about too? I'm happy to promote projects in the Cardano ecosystem. Um, if there was ever a project that were to pay me, I would tell you guys, they don't. I just like to cover them and promote them and bring more awareness to the Cardano ecosystem because I'm a holder too. It's my number one altcoin pick. How does Iagon storage component work? So I'm doing more research every few days into IAG and it's really cool what they're doing with their hardware setup to help decentralize storage. IAG leverages decentralized storage to enhance data security by sharding and distributing data across multiple providers. It uses error correcting codes for data recovery, offers encryption options, and incentivizes providers through Adagio rewards. <laughs> My mind just went to like Tiesto, Adagio for strings. Let me know if you uh, guys know that track. So a nice little infographic here. How does it work? Decentralized storage, sharding, Adagio rewards, error correcting codes, data encryption, subscription management. I was reading a little bit of the how it works and when IAG mentioned about uh, centralization issues or when there's a big pool of data that hackers can just swim in and uh, a term that they used of like being able to freeze the lake 
right? Like think of companies where their data has been compromised and the hacker is just swimming in tons of data. But even if you can not only prevent that, hopefully, but even if it were to happen, make adjustments on the fly to freeze that and do damage control. I think that the efforts for decentralized storage and security like this, uh, we're gonna see massive dividends for it in the future. I was talking to a project that's looking to integrate some of the technology from IAG, and I think it's cool to get communities involved, create rewards, uh, make it a win-win-win for everyone involved. So that's cool. Users can choose to encrypt their data before it's sharded, adding an extra layer of protection. We know how important encryption is. Error correcting codes. Igon uses error correcting codes to ensure that files can be reconstructed even if some shards are missing or corrupted. Decentralized storage. Igon Storage Network uses decentralized nodes to store data, ensuring data security and eliminating single points of failure. It's a big one. Sharding. Data is split into smaller fragments or shards and distributed across multiple storage providers, enhancing security and redundancy. I think rewards is great. The Adagio protocol rewards storage providers based on their performance and commitment, incentivizing reliable and efficient storage services, which is good. That's nice. Incentives, we know they work as much as thou that shall not be named uh, says they don't. Finally, subscription management. This is cool. Uh, the protocol allows users to purchase storage, manage subscriptions, and receive NFTs representing their storage allocation. Wow, what a beautiful medley to integrate into there. That's cool. NFT with subscription management. Sounds sensible to me. Speaking of sensible, Cardano Yoda on Michael Saylor. Every time Michael Saylor buys more BTC, the, co the Bitcoin community cheers, right? They fanfare, they applaud. They also support the idea of the US government holding 19% of BTC as a reserve. And I remember hearing about this in the previous cycle, concerns about the US Treasury and, you know, adding to their big holding of Bitcoin. Satoshi holds around 1 million BTC, about 5%. The same group is bothered by Charles, who holds some ADA. Does that make sense to you? Not really, right? It doesn't. It does not make sense. Show me another project with a fair coin distribution. So zooming out at a glance, 57.6% public sale. I know a lot of people will give flack to Emergo, a set a lot of posts, or Charles, but guys, like this is business. People have to make money some way, somehow. This is not a philanthropy. <laughs> we have to be honest with each other and stop the cap. Even today, I saw one guy say, oh, I don't know if like snacked off one's a good idea because this, let people spend money. Money needs to move. People will make money. It is what it is. It is what it is. So I think that the initial supply of ADA is great. I think the grassroots approach of ADA is great and it's only improving. And so burning of the Genesis keys handing over of the treasury with you know nearly one billion dollars in funds show me another l1 that's doing that ain't gonna happen so let's take a look at some responses here bitcoin news bitcoiners should be able to listen to other communities charles is a bitcoin og who had one of the first bitcoin courses bitcoiners can learn a lot from him if crypto remains a place of toxicity let's forget about adoption and i really agree about this last statement it's funny because like we don't realize that humans love novelty and we kind of become a victim of our own like things and own thinking processes. So I agree. Like I try to lean more towards civil discourse, objective, not like the nonsense Voldemort slamming a, a crypto token. And we clearly see how with ordinals and runes, how there can be a symbiotic relationship where Bitcoin inspired new networks. NFTs on Ethereum come back and inspire, you know, BRC20, Ordinal, all that jazz. So there is a relationship there. And honestly, guys, I think all the trolling is just online. When I met like Bitcoin Maxis, even in Texas last cycle, they were very chill. They were looking at meme coins. They were not like the Bitcoin Maxis of the internet. Bitcoin News says Bitcoin as a US reserve asset is quote unquote great for its price, but poses significant risks, warned Charles. The Cardano founder voiced concerns that the prospect of the U.S. Treasury holding 19% of the BTC supply raises serious centralization concerns. And yeah, you definitely want to have an active community with a nice wallet spread. Having almost one quarter of Bitcoin held in the U.S. government has concerns, to say the least. I think that's a fair statement by Charles. What do you think? 
You stake coins and enjoy passive income. Suddenly, something unpleasant happens in the network and you lose some coins due to slashing. Well, guys, Cardano has liquid staking. No slashing. You are in no danger of that. ADA coins will never disappear from your wallet. It doesn't leave your wallet. And this is also great for compliance because we saw a couple of weeks ago how the liquid native staking is already giving us some more check marks uh, for MICA compliance. We see how Binance is going with the mature compliance strategy and also with Ripple's win for the rest of the industry. And mind you, the CEO, forget what Voldemort says, the CEO of Ripple was calling for a Cardano ETF and saying that it's a win for the whole industry. So all of these things, as beautiful as the tech is for an everyday user and institutions, also is important for compliance. And I think Cardano is one that people easily hate on. Uh, people are resistant to change. But the more we can be a little bit more with like civil conversations, agree to disagree, I think the more that uh, the haters will see like, wait a second, like Ada's built different. Uh, yesterday, I had a back and forth on X about like Cardano and what I liked and we just kind of agreed to disagree. And the guy was like, hey, you know what, man, this is pretty refreshing. He's like, send me like an article, sent him Cardano, um, you know, introduction, infographics and whatnot. And I think like the more we talk with each other, maxis and whatnot, the more we realize we share more in common, you know. Cardano is scaling exponentially while other chains were busy convincing people that failed transactions and exploits are a feature. Cardano's capabilities were increased by 100x and now one of the fastest chains with zero issues. Watch Plutus V3 do it again. I need more ADA, says Lucid. I need more ADA too. So stick around for the end. We'll take a look at price prediction, where it's headed. Why do I care about Cardano and decentralization, says Peter. He says, I'm a filmmaker based in the Czech Republic. Cardano has allowed me to collab collaborate across continents. Without it, I wouldn't be able to make a film with people in Africa. All the transactions necessary to make this documentary were done using ADA cryptocurrency. It's fast, secure, with minimal fees compared to traditional options. All the transactions I made with colleagues in Africa happened instantly. It's very nice to hear from people's like their own anecdote, their own experiences. And this all makes sense. And I think that we're witnessing this, guys. Like, I hate politics. I hate it. I see this stuff on my feed and I just like block, 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 remove. It's just noise BS to me. But it's important that we see that Cardano is thinking about developing nations. It's also thinking about geo restrictions. It's thinking about how there's many places in the world where centralization is part of the consequences they face. And I think that decentralization can often be a boring topic, but an integral one. And I noticed that one myself too. In 2021, I launched just a meme coin idea as a joke. I didn't like, it was just like for a second, um, nothing serious, put up the website and all of a sudden the website was rugged. Website was rugged, why? Because, you know, it's a domain that I don't own, I'm just leasing it. That's when I started to learn about like Handshake and some of the other stuff to make an immutable website that can't be taken down from bad actors, right? And no matter how much I did back and forth with Namecheap, who I won't use again, didn't matter because like at the end of the day, those traditional platforms, they don't care. They really don't care. They just want to make a quick buck and they don't care about your rights as an individual to own your stuff. And it's a boring thing, but an integral thing. We're getting closer to Chang Hard Fork. A uh, nice clarification here because sometimes you'll see guys nodes. We need to focus on the blocks, the blocks being reported. Uh, but we're getting close. Chang readiness, Chang hard fork. So SBOs, uh, while the threshold for SBOs is 75% blocks uh, producing, that's because reporting to pool tool is voluntary. But blocks producing is what's really happening on Cardano. Here we see 66%. In this graphic, seven hours ago, 77% for nose reporting. So in my eyes, it's going to be imminent. It should be sometime very soon. Jason Appleton, aka Crypto Crow, he's a good crow. He's been here since 2017. Who else appreciates the master plan over short-term centralized scams? So this is in response to an interesting post here. A great point Charles made on his most recent AMA, says Alfonso. A lot of the people, when they cry, when, why we don't have stable coins, why don't we have marketing, why don't we have VCs? They're only interested in price go up. And when the price goes up, they sell and leave the ecosystem. How are these people helpful to the ecosystem and who are they to demand and set the pace at which Cardano should move? I mean, that's reasonable. They don't actually care. They just want to make money. 
Now, of course, this is only a subset of people and there's valid reasons to want better marketing, liquidity, etc. But there's a lot of fakers out there. They'll say they care about this ecosystem and its future when all they care about are their bags. Not everyone is genuine. Something to be aware of and test people on. Words are easy, actions are what matters. Who was here and still is here no matter price? I mean, we're here, guys. Um, this channel, Angry Crypto, was the successor to one I made back in the day where um, I actually been accumulating Cardano since 2020. I think everyone wants price to go up, so there's a little bit of a middle ground, but I do agree with Alfonso that there are a lot of like griefers out there. There's a lot of them, and you guys witness it time in, day in, day out where like price goes down a little bit and then they basically just say like this project is pure garbage instead of a little bit of an objective civil discourse, you know? So whatever you guys do there, be careful. You know, while Voldemort is saying like, hey, no institutional investment, this, that, we see that there's a lot of positive sentiment from authoritative figures in the space. So be careful who you listen to. And that ties into this point. And I said based comments in my reply. If you're going to consistently chat shite about Cardano, why even be here? Just leave. Just go. Like if, if you guys are hating Cardano and you're, and you're commenting below, just unsubscribe. Get out of here. Leave Twitter. Get out of here. You know what's very funny? I noticed most people hating on Cardano can't even afford a premium on Twitter. And it's always ad hominem character attacks. Oh, Charles is fat. Oh, this is that. It's not even objective. And it's just, it's pathetic. I pity them. And I hope that they can see past all those lens filters that like, look, like Cardano is time tested. Cardano has a lot of good for it going for it. And Google, tr I trust Google Trends, not a troll. Trust the trends, trust the line because people lie. And like Alfonso said, truth is an action. So just take a look at action. Take a look at what people say over time and come to your own conclusions, even with me. Come to your own conclusions. For me, I like to aggregate the bullish narratives, stand up to some of the FUD every now and then. And I value your guys' feedback. I read all the comments, even the, the trolling comments. I read them all. I believe in freedom of speech. But freedom of speech is not freedom of consequence. And I think that those KOL trolls, they pay the consequence, right? If you're going to shill anything under the moon, you're going to pay the consequence. I've said no, 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 no to like 99% of stuff. And if I'm ever going to promote something where someone put a, even a penny in my bag, I will tell you guys because I made Angry Crypto to try and help this dilution of information in Web3. The abundance of garbageo metaverse trash that people are unafraid to say this fucking sucks. Excuse my French. We need to have more people saying this is shit. This is a dumbass idea. It's garbage. <laughs> so... Excuse me, you know, I, I got to cut down on the cussing, but like, that's why I made Angry Crypto. And I have conviction in Cardano for a myriad of reasons, uh, for many reasons that the trolls cannot understand. Uh, many of them we mentioned in this video, many of them in different videos. And I think that the price is a lagging indicator. We will get there, but we can't control cycles, right? And we know that BTC dominance is high. We know that Bitcoin global search is low. And uh, we know that when we zoom out, we had a nice all-time high, another all-time high, and I think that Q4 is going to be bare minimum. Now, I know some people say Q4 will be when alt season starts. I don't think so. I think that the earliest that it's going to start is probably going to be like November, December into the cold months, just because of market psychology, post-election, everything else going for it. Um, what price will it hit? Well, we saw, of course, that there's a variety of targets, nine bucks by Altcoin Daily, 650 by Jake Gagan, a lot of other figures. I think it's reasonable. I like to do start low and then move my way up. I won't say 3.26 trillion market cap. Y'all know who, if you know who said that, then that's based, uh, not for this project, for something else. I think that $3 minimum, minimum, I'm gonna say like, I would probably say like five to seven bucks would be reasonable. Because again, we had a very small, this was like a buy the hype, sell the news of like Alonzo Hard Fork Sunday swap hype. And right now we just have so much going for the ecosystem. And I think a lot of efforts are being improved to onboard people with like fiat on and off ramps, better wallets, uh, ICON, a lot of in 
uh, innovation to educate people, bring in people, remove the barriers. So I think it's reasonable to think that Cardano can easily surpass five bucks. Uh, but I won't sit here and tell you like 20, 30, 40 dollars. Um, I think it's okay to be with wanting the price to go up. There's nothing wrong with that. But it's just a matter of what, why, when. So I know that the price is going to go up. Uh, and remember this key thing in life, not now is not no. Just because the price of your favorite project, in this case Cardano ADA, is not high, doesn't mean that it's not due a pump. Because guess what? I'm sure a lot of people paper hands sold here and got out of here. And I've been accumulating since 2020. I first learned about Cardano kind of in the um, tail end of 2020. And I've been accumulating. And I also accumulated at that local floor, but I've accumulated higher than this price too at 36 because I just have that conviction. And when I zoom out, I'd see that Cardano has charismatic leadership, bustling community. And it's not just my opinion, it's, it's data. And we see that by people who aggregate and look at the analytics. So I think that Cardano has a bustling system community. The downside volatility that we see with Cardano is not only affecting and exclusive to ADA, but it's the rest of the space when you look at the space, some of them in double digit losses. So I think that the pumps that are coming for alt season to be felt in ADA will be coming towards the tail end of Q4, probably Q1 of 2025. And I think it's easy for us to surpass the five bucks. I will continue to watch BTCD, aka Bitcoin Dominance, and looking at Bitcoin Global search results because we still don't have that mass retail normie money. Ironically, their conviction is found and legitimacy is found when the price goes up because the price going up psychologically is a marketing factor too of, hey, this is legitimate. Hey, I should pay attention to this. Now, for us, we don't want it. We want to buy low, sell high, but they unfortunately do the opposite, right? Um, and the beauty is that we can let it do things by delegating, staking, variety of stuff, governance, and not have it just sit there and do nothing. That's the beauty of Cardano ADA. But let me know, why do you guys like ADA? Is there something that really stands out to you? I think like without a doubt for me, it's like the, the resilience, but especially the liquid staking. I think the liquid staking, the more people pay attention to it, their mind will be blown by no vesting periods, not leaving your wallets very reliable and secure. And I'm sure more projects are gonna be paying attention to emulate these international standards that Cardano has cemented in. So guys, it's a Sunday, kind of quiet day for the Cardano news. Let me know of any other projects you enjoy in the comments and why do you love Cardano ADA? Appreciate you fam. Hit that subscribe, hit that like. I'll see you in the next Angry Crypto Show.